Hello, my name is Rich Choi. I'm a Microsoft CRM technology specialist. Today we're going to take a look at CRM 2011 and the auditing features provided out of the box. First we log into our CRM instance. Next, select the settings module located on the lower left. We'll then select auditing on the left navigation pane. Next, click entity and field audit settings. In this area, we're going to select what we're going to audit, whether it's an entity at a whole, which will then audit all fields um, by default for that specific entity. We can also turn off the auditing feature for the entire entity and select spe specific fields that we want to capture for audit. I'm going to go ahead and open up the account entity here. Now as I scroll down, I see that auditing is already checked. And as mentioned before, because it's checked, by default, all fields for this entity are enabled for auditing. Now I'm going to uncheck this, and I'll click OK. And I'll select fields on the left here. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to select account number, and I'll open that up. On the field form, I have the ability to disable auditing or enable auditing. And I'll hit save and close. And I'll publish all my customizations. Now that it's published, I'll close this record here. And I'm going to select global audit settings. In this area, you're going to ensure that auditing is turned on. I have the option to turn it off and I'll go ahead and click OK and we'll go ahead and test out our audit. So next click sales or workplace in order to navigate to the account records. I'm going to expand my accounts here to go into my active accounts. I'll go ahead and open up a record here. And right now the account number is 88888. I'll go ahead and change that. And I'll hit save. Now because we have audit enabled for that specific field, I can click the audit history link here on the left. And it's going to capture an audit record. So I can see that what when it was changed, who changed this record what action took place, what field specific was changed, the old value along with the new value. Now at a larger scale, I can close this out. I'll go back to my settings and locate back to the auditing area. But I can click Audit Summary View. In this view, it gives me a list of all the audits that have taken place within the CRM application. Now if I click auditing again, all these summary views are captured within a log er management file here. So I can click audit log management. And there I have my audit log. I could go ahead and delete this log and start a new one, but here's where I could manage that. So the entity and field audit settings is where you make your preferences on what's going to be audited in the system. Be sure to check your global audit settings to make sure your audit is turned on. You have the ability to view all audit history across CRM within the audit summary view. And you have the ability to manage your audit log files in the audit log management area. And that's auditing provided in CRM 2011. Thank you.